Weird Random Historical Facts Danes once bred a pig to look like the flag. In the early 20th century, those who resided in North Frisia under Prussian rule were not allowed to raise the Danish flag, but some crafty North Frisians took action by breeding a pig, known as the Danish protest pig, to be red in color, with a large white stripe around its belly, thus creating an animal version of the flag. As they technically did not break the law, and because it won't have been feasible to ban the breeding of pigs, the Danes successfully protested Prussia. The 101 Year War Montenegro and Japan were technically in a war for 101 years. During the Russo-Japanese War that took place in 1904-1905, volunteers from Montenegro were encouraged to fight the Russian army in Manchuria. However, Montenegro was not mentioned in the 1905 peace treaty, and a tactical state of war was presumed to exist between the two countries. In 2006, Japan made the gesture of recognizing Montenegrin independence and declared that the hostilities were over. A Shakespeare play was not only for the rich. Anyone could watch a performance from Shakespeare back in the day, even the poor. Although you could only afford tickets to the ground floor, where there were no seats, and you were exposed to the cold, wind, and rain that came in through the open top, if you were rich, you could afford to sit in the higher level, covered galleries, and a comfy seat away from the smelly poor people below. We almost had a nuclear war. In 1983, one man prevented a nuclear war between the USSR and the USA. Stanislav Yevakovich Petrov was a duty officer at the command center for the OKO nuclear early warning system when the system reported that a missile had been launched from the United States, followed by up to five more. Petrov judged the reports to be a false alarm, and his decisions to disobey orders against Soviet military protocol is credited with having prevented an erroneous retaliatory nuclear attack on the United States and its NATO allies that could have resulted in large-scale nuclear war. Investigation later confirmed that the Soviet satellite warning system had indeed malfunctioned. Tutankhamun's parents were brother and sister. Tutankhamun was a pharaoh during ancient Egypt's New Kingdom era around 3,300 years ago. He may be seen as the golden boy of ancient Egypt today, but during his reign, Tutankhamun wasn't exactly a strapping sun god. Instead, a new DNA study says King Tut was a frail pharaoh, beset of malaria and a bone disorder. The fact that Tutankhamun was the progeny of siblings is not really uncommon among Egyptian dynasties, and familial relationships among royalty is even more common. Queen Elizabeth II is married to her second cousin, after all. Are aliens real? In 1969, a musician called Jin Sullivan recorded an album titled UFO. The lyrics were about him leaving his family and being abducted by aliens on the desert. Six years later, his car was found abandoned at the ranch somewhere in the New Mexico desert. He disappeared, never to be seen again. The Queen Broke Rules Queen Elizabeth II broke a 600-year-old royal tradition after the 9-11 terror attacks. To express solidarity with Americans, the Queen asked her royal guards to play the USA's national anthem for the first time for stranded Americans in London. Over 5,000 Americans gathered outside Buckingham Palace in the wake of the attacks to mourn together. My Bucket List A teenager from Connecticut completed her bucket list right before she was fatally hit by a car. She wrote the list years earlier and had one item left, save a life. Before the car hit her, she pushed a friend to get him out of the way. A true hero. Thomas Edison, The Thief Louis Le Prince, who filmed the first ever motion picture, disappeared without a trace in 1890. Thomas Edison took credit as the first and sole inventor of cinematography and was granted U.S. patents for his motion picture camera. Celebrate the Dead In 2010, Tokyo officials went to congratulate the oldest person in the city on the 111th birthday. They instead found his skeleton remains. He had been dead for 30 years and his family was enjoying his pension money that they still received. Your hair helps the environment. Dirty hair can be good for the atmosphere. According to environmental engineers at the Missouri University of Science and Technology, hair absorbs the air pollutant ozone. Scalp oils have found to be a major contributor to this. So if you want to do your part to help your local air quality, skip the shampoo.